talk weather around here on what's going to be another hot summery day at the middle to end of September. The radar picture's got a bunch of green on it. That's the low-level moisture. It's why your glasses fog up when you step outside, and there's going to be plenty of that to end eight. Down to the bottom of the screen, we see a couple of sprinkles trying to find their way up towards land. Best chances to see the showers today are going to be closer to the coasts even this afternoon. Now, we did get some showers yesterday afternoon, but I think the setup is changing a little bit more. This ridge of higher pressure is asserting itself, and it's going to be our big weather player for the next few days, and that's likely going to mean fewer, not zero, fewer showers, and I think you're going to get pinned a little bit more closer to the coast. We're at 72 right now in Tallahassee and in Thomasville. We're at 73 in Valdosta. Picked up eight hundredths of an inch of rain, so we're doing just fine in the rain bucket rain column, but without the showers, we stay hot for much longer, and that's going to be something we notice a lot, I think, over the next couple of days. 93 was the top temperature yesterday. Morning temperatures are supposed to be in the upper 60s. Blakely's there. Quincy was there briefly, but everybody else up over 70. Live Oak, we're at 76. It's 71 in Monticello. We look for some patchy fog, especially maybe in the next hour. But right now, most visibility numbers better than 5 or 10 miles. Across the south, this is where this ridge of higher pressure is. And as long as it is our big weather player like it should be probably till Saturday, we're going to not only continue with this still summer forecast, but we're going to limit those showers. And without those showers, and we count on those in the afternoons to cool it down, we are definitely looking at more hot for longer periods of the day. As far as the future cast goes, yes, there still will be some showers, but we're not going to have them with as much frequency as we've been seeing. And I don't think we're going to get as many of them scattered about the area, simply because the air itself upstairs is drying out, and this ridge of high pressure is going to limit the things that drive our afternoon shower. So for these next couple of days, it's a little bit more sunshine, a little bit more hot. Out across the Atlantic, we've got a little areas of disturbed weather. None of it looks like it's rapidly turning into anything, but of course, we'll still keep our eyes on that as we go through the rest of the Atlantic hurricane season. On the Gulf today, winds start northwest, turn on shore, but light, a pretty good setup for the boaters. We are finished with the low tides, high tides coming up next. 70s this morning and muggy. This afternoon, let's go for those top temperatures, low to mid 90s, and it will be there till probably after supper time. Rain chances around 30%, that's it. Mid 70s tonight, still going to be hot, still going to be humid for the next few days. Very much a still summer forecast. Guys, probably into the upcoming weekend.